Listen up, you little weasels. Class has begun. We're going to talk about school today. This is, I think, the 30th of my 30 daily videos, a goal I set that I think I am accomplishing. And so I'll have to count and see if there was already a 28 and a 29 schools. I just opened an article a little bit ago. Hopefully I still have it here. Yeah, right here. It's not just the office. It's here, Let's see if I can get this visible for you. It's not just the office people don't want to go to. COVID looks to have, I'm reading it backwards, pre-permanently severed something as school attendance plummets and keeps dropping. So like a bunch of people aren't going to school. I'm guessing they're talking about secondary, middle, and primary school, right? And probably maybe even kids having trouble making it to preschool. A lot of them are drunk at that age. And I just want to say, I don't like that. And I don't like that. I don't know if I care or like about whether people want to go to work or not, and they don't go to work or something like that. What I do care about is that I've been to private school, been, been to when my, my parents had to pay for me to go, been to a, 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 the, the, the Catholic school, a St. Gabriel's when I was young and I was in my uh, elementary school years. I went there for a while. And I went to another Catholic school uh, when I got to Florida, right after I went to a public school there, because the Catholic school didn't have room for me because the fourth grade was filled. I got there in fifth grade. It was called St. Cecilia's School. Um, I went to Skycrest while I was waiting, and this was in Clearwater, Florida. My name is Skeptical Spectrum of the Florida Spectrum family. And I, um, then I went to Clearwater High School, and then I went, um, graduated, and then I did some other things and did college and all that stuff. Here's the thing. I didn't really like the schooling part of school, except for some marvelous teachers. Ms. Campbell, if you're still around and watching YouTube videos, you're probably not watching this because nobody is. Uh, but if you hear this, you were amazing. And there were so many other amazing teachers that I had throughout school. Um, but school generally sucked because <sighs> teaching was delivering facts to children. Now, you can imagine going to a Catholic school, two different Catholic schools, you can see where teaching facts there probably gets a little muddy. Great thing about Catholic uh, churches that, as a rule, they believe in evolution, not because they have to, but because they're allowed to, but the Catholic Church endorses the science of evolution as valid. And um, I'm not Catholic. Um, I'm not of any religion right now. I'm a non-believer. I don't happened to believe in anything supernatural. Um, we had a great day one day when one of our um, Catholic school teachers was trying to teach us about limbo and how little babies had a special, not so great place if they didn't get baptized before uh, they died. So like a baby could come out of someone's womb and croak right there. And the parents, if they were Catholic, had to praise God for the infinite wisdom that led him to not let a baby go to heaven. Limbo is supposed to be like something not as bad as uh, hell. And we argued and argued with this teacher, and we just thought it was dumb. Um, I guess the, the point I'm trying to make is that <clears throat> this thing about people not wanting to go to schools is that, A, schools need to be higher quality. 
Now, private schools, they may have some quality, but I think they actually need more money than even the filthy rich parents, my parents were not filthy rich, um, could afford to um, pay to go there. They need, they need funds. And just the educational idea needs to be different. Um, when you get to college, when I got to college, not acting college, I don't think I had any weird conceptions about acting from grade school or from high school. But when I got out of that, went in the Marines, came back, went into um, college for psychology, that's where I started to learn that all these facts that are presented to you in school are usually outdated by the time something's gone from being a science journal article to a book that is appropriate and purchasable for like schools. Lots has changed. Um, lots of change has happened before something makes it into a textbook, before a fact makes it into a textbook. But they did not present facts correctly. They, they presented facts as things that are just true. They didn't even say things that we know are true or things that we right now think are true. They just kind of had you memorize them and send them back. They taught you the scientific method. They did. The scientific method is a very strong phrase. There are so many nuances to different scientific investigation processes depending on what science you're working on. Like, for example, archaeology. They, some people wouldn't even consider that a science. I don't think that's fair. They're doing what they need to do to get by. All right? Right? Life on the streets is tough, especially if you're doing archaeology because they're very old streets. So I'm going to make this video uh, short. It's seven minutes and six seconds now. I'm going to try to get it down below eight minutes. Um, don't teach children that the facts are the facts. Teach them how people discern their facts. Start teaching um, the scientific method and skepticism and logic and logical fallacies all throughout the, um, the, the years and, and, and whatever age appropriate way you can. Do not tell children that you are asking them to take tests and score highly based on the truth of what happened in history. Tell them that this is a formulation of what happened in history based on documentation and stuff. Tell them that we don't really know the truth of the world. Tell them that we are adults and we're not sure about everything and what we think is solid evidence eventually changes. What we think is true changes. Teach that to children and then keep using that phrasing every time you present something. That was 30 videos in 30 days. Oh, and by the way, how you do all this stuff. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to complain more. Okay, we're not going to be able to keep it under eight. Way past eight now. It's eight twenty-two. It's eight twenty-three. It's actually eight twenty-four. Here's the thing about schools: they all need tons and tons more money than they're getting. A long time ago, I think one of the parties of our, um, you know, political parties in our country, the United States of America, um, decided to stop funding schools, then criticize schools for sucking because. They stopped the funding. They didn't say that part. They just stopped funding them. And then that allowed them to fund them less by saying those public schools are sucky and let's give their money to private schools, which is not what we pay taxes for. We pay taxes for high, high, high quality education for every kid. Kids on the streets should have tutors running up to them and teaching them stuff, right? Right. We pay that much in taxes already. We don't have to tax more for that. We just need to stop giving it to people who already have but tons of money. And I just want to say, but tons of money, but tons of money, but tons of money. Okay, bye-bye. I said bye-bye.